All right, everybody, it's Andrew the Moon. We are back, and we are going to take out the rest of these guys in Filthy Hens Floyd. Now, that shouldn't be too terribly difficult, because this guy gets sucked up like that. This guy's like, what, what, what's happening? He, he's, he's attacking my friend. How dare he do that? And he just stands there like a big derp and goes, hey, what's going on here? Up, 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 up. We got two more coming out, two more coming out, and they are heading in this direction. They have seen me. They have seen me. So, although they are not too terribly difficult to take down, I, I, I knew there was a guy over here. Suck this guy up, and by the time this guy gets up to do his thing, there we go. like them outlaws have blocked the road to town. Yeah, those stinky bastards got us good this time. Hmm, I, I think there's a mine shaft around here that'll get us to town. Where is it? I, I could swear it was over here. No, no, that's not it. Oh, maybe over here. Oh, oh. Yeah. what was I looking for again? All right, you see the area where Filthy Hands Floyd is at? He's not going to leave there. I mean, he, he's not. Now, his boys will, and you can lure his boys away. Hi, guys. Come on. Come on in. Come on. Come on over this way. Yeah. Get away from Filthy Hands Floyd. I don't mind you doing that in the least bit. What? No, 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 no. I didn't tell you to get up. I didn't say you get up. Stay down. All right, so now we... Oh, good night. That's why you got to be careful with the Filthy Hands Floyd, though. These bosses will take you out in a heartbeat. Now, what you want here is fuzzles. And the reason why, and I didn't actually uh, show this, but if you take the time to listen to the guys who blocked off the pathway, they'll actually talk about the fact that he is deathly afraid of fuzzles. Something having to do with his childhood. Stand in front of this because he is currently in front of that, and uh, there we go. And just start waylaying him uh, with, or actually, uh, I wonder if punching him would work well at this point as well. There we go. Just just hit him with the fuzzle, load up, and ah. Uh, you know, I did so much better the first time around when I did this. There we go. Just, because I don't want to kill him. Come on, come on, take him out. Don't kill him, don't kill him, don't kill him. All right, we knocked him out. He's good to go. We sucked him up. Oh. Jump cash in time. Remember what I said about barrels? I have no clue if the same applies here. There we go. We got a few. We got a, we got a little bit of money out of this. So, I mean, it, it's not all for naught. Just very little money out of it. But still, you know, every so often, uh, that's what will happen. Ah, good night. I'm having to lean forward a little bit. And I have no idea if my voice is carrying. The microphone is in my face right now. By the way... If you know anything about video games, you should know where this is going. Straight down. The only purpose I could find in, you know, in the back of my head or the reason why they did that is that that's kind of a loading screen without it being a loading screen. 
Um, more fuzzles, just in case you didn't have enough. No, which button activates the timer again? The blue one. You sir, I thought it was the green one. Look, I'm telling you, it's the blue one. Okay, okay, gee, I'll put the green one. These are the types of mooks we are dealing with right now. These are the types of mooks. Now, I could drop down there if I so chose, but you want to hop up and over here, where you're still hidden. And able to break barrels. I was like, wait a minute, what is going on here? There's nothing in that one. And we have the element of surprise. So we've got three here and two over there. Um... There's a number of ways we go about doing this. I prefer to do the absolute idiotic, I don't know how to play this game method. And that is where I take this. And I turn around and I sh shoot this guy and I go up like that. And by the by this time, this guy should have woken up by now. And I'm out of Olamite. Oop, come on, get, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. <laughs> All right, and then we shake this off, and there are two more left. Now, we go ahead and go and attack them. You know, they're like, I see something. I, I see the stranger, and they're shooting at me, which is fine, because they're going to stay where they're at. Um, there's some stuff up here that I may have missed, and frankly, since I was already in the process of walking up this way, I'll go ahead and just uh, take care of it. Ah, punch it. Punch it. Punch it. Punch it. Come on. All right, nothing, and... So I basically walked up here for two pieces of gold. Expert plays with the moo. We are out of bolomites right now, so I can't really fire any more of those off. But frankly, I was genius. I'm not really all that worried because... worried about it because uh, I can just do that and so we got a few guys that are dead not quite as many but you know ah bolomites that's the other reason why coming in here is important and you, you notice if you get in front of them how skittish they get that's something that you need to keep in mind as well as you play through this game and good gravy the Sun is shining in my eyes I'm gonna have to put like another bed sheet up over that <coughs> So it doesn't shine as brightly in here. Shine bright like a diamond. I mean, it's just like I tend to record this stuff early in earlier, early-ish in the morning. It's about eight thirty right now, and I know some people are saying, "Well, that's not early in the morning." But I typically get up, try to get up around six or seven in the morning, so I can do some recordings. That way, I got the rest of the day to do the important works I need to do. But uh, let's go ahead and head to town, and I think we'll probably call this an episode after we finish this up. Hey, yeah, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. I want to take him to jail, take him to jail, take him to jail, 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 jail. Ah, that's not the bounty store. I mean, that's the bounty store, not the jail. Bring him in and take him to jail. Oh, wait, 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 wait. He's probably already in jail, isn't he? It gives us a chance to show this off. Here's one. He's waiting my brother breaks me out of prison. Yeah, brother. Ooh, here's is this fifth Lance Floyd? Okay, so I've got to take him to the bounty store and then do that. But you can go back and talk to these guys uh, once they're in jail. Uh, obviously, you can't do that if uh, they're dead. So let's head to the bounty store and. Uh, We'll probably go back and talk to them real quick just to see what Filthy Hands Floyd has to say. Well, hi there! Alright, I don't really care what you guys say right now. Let's just get the money that we get. $690! That's not bad, not bad at all. So we're going to go and we're going to Luton Duke next. The water facility. And I get to show off something else with Luton Duke. I don't ever take... Water 
facility down the road, you know, past the West Gate. I'm going to go ahead and say this now. Luton Duke is going to be an interesting one because I'm going to try to take as many of these guys as I can alive, but they're just some of them that I go, all right, they can die for all I care. And um, guess what? <laughs> That's Luton Duke. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry about that. I, I, I didn't mean to hit you. Um, I wonder if the doctor is back yet. Uh, all right, so this is the st purpose of the bounty store. Uh, we have ammo, we have armor, we have upgrades, and we're going to want the upgrades. We're going to want the binoculars. Those are going to be very important to us as we go throughout this game. And we want to be able to hold more bolomites, or rather fire more bolomites at once. So it's, it's kind of like a clip. Um, I'm going to end up, and let's see, we got moolah. I'm going to get the attractors, and I'm not going to worry about the bag just yet, although the bag will be what we get after the next uh, bounty. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's great, you know, just whatever, little chicken guy. Um, so I'm going to head to the jail real quick, and uh, we're going to see if we can talk to... Um, I can't even remember his name now. There's Boyle's Booty, there's... I'm just going to call him Ratface. Ratface. How you like in prison, chump? Ooh, Big Shot Bounty Hunter got himself a bounty! Get out of my face, you... Stupid wannabe cowboy. Didn't mean to tap the D-pad just then, but yeah, you can come and mock them in jail if you want to. Kind of fun. So, uh, let's... Let's see. Is the dock in? Dock is closed. But I tell you what, we're going to call this an episode. In the very next episode, we're going to take after Luke and... Luke, Luke and... Luke and Duke. And we are going to, uh... Going to continue gathering up as many bounty hunters as we can. And I'll probably talk a little bit more about why I like this game. I, I have a problem of like my mind just going in one direction and then sh sh shooting to another, another topic and then moving over to another direction. Just like I've got ADD of the mind apparently. Anyway, this is Andrew the Moon. We'll see you with the very next episode of Oddworld Strangers.